hello buddy and welcome back for a new video. Today I'm going to release the 140 reusable cobweb semi-automatic dual tank on one, per one push something like that ish. Um, yeah. Uh, all in all, I'm going to release this cannon here. It's the 140 now and I hope you guys will enjoy this fucking cannon here. It is absolutely a beast and it's a good thing if I don't know what happened there. That was fast. I didn't even see that. But it is absolutely a beast if you're playing on a server that doesn't allow you to have automatic cannons or the server cannot handle it. Then this fight here is the choose that you have to take. Uh, because it is extremely fast. It is not that big. You could have done more than this. You could probably have made two separate sand compressions firing uh, at separate times. But to be honest guys, this one here is just as fast. Use a printer and you have yourself a pretty damn fast cannon. Um, and of course it comes with a decent scatter, um, not too big uh, and not too small. I kind of feel like this is the, the scatter that you need. Uh, because if you have it too big, the TNT kind of uh, runs out kind of kind of fast, if you can say so. So that's not really fun. Uh, as you see, we have these uh, long lines of sand right here. And all you need to do to, to be able to shoot multiply times is simply just build these sand here all the way up. Uh, as as far as possible, this line right here. Uh, let uh, put up uh, that one and that one. So the red line is what uh, fires the most. It what's why it uses the most sand. Um, the black line right here is not really used that much. It only uses to one push the sand out. So uh, to be honest, don't don't put too money on those because if you put it all the way up as I do, you're never gonna get it used. Uh, that's enough for a lot of shots. Uh, but now that you keep that in mind, let's go ahead and shoot this kind of a little bit more faster here so you can see how fast it actually is. And as you see, it's putting in right now and you'll be able to shoot again right now. Um, so it is damn fast and it does allow you to shoot um, pretty fast uh, besides uh, an auto cannon where you could shoot maybe uh, f uh, three seconds or four seconds. This one here allows you to do almost the same uh, if you're good with pressing buttons, I guess. Um, but as soon as you see that explosion over here, I have, to, I have the effect off right now. But as you soon as you see that explosion right here, you can press the button again, uh, which is gonna which is gonna make it a pretty pretty good uh, comp. So there's no sand stock, even though we shot a lot multiple times. Let's go ahead and try on some walls. What I'm gonna do is that I'm simply gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go to the wall. Uh, so you can see, uh, so I can see and you can see how many walls uh, is down currently because I, I'm pretty sure I did test it. Um, I'm not really sure. But again, this is 20 chunks, guys. Remember that. So you will be able to shoot uh, throughout the entire buffer. And right here, it kind of represents uh, more walls. But there is probably the base here. If your faction server allows you to have a, a more than 20 chunk buffer, then of course be aware of that. But let's go ahead and stack that down. It looks like we have a little... Let's go ahead and stack that down again. There we go. And I'm sorry I have all the effects off right now. Um, but here's the 20 chunks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 20 chunks and a little bit more. So that means all those chunks is probably walls, uh, I would assume. But let's go ahead and put the first shot into the, those walls and I forgot to set a home but I, I'm gonna go uh, do that right now when it shoots it should have gone got rid of the first wall at least um I hope so I'm pretty sure we could shoot just around 25 ish 25 30 ish chunks without changing any ticks uh, so be aware that if you're going over that then that was probably why 144 is where we at let's see if we are clipping so the, the idea of these cannons is to use it on servers that either doesn't allow auto cannons or that auto cannons are uh, extremely slow uh, due to the T uh, TPS drop or whatsoever. But uh, I can see that we are not clipping here, so we can go ahead and we can shoot one more time. Uh, but before I TP away, we need to make sure that all of the TNT has been followed out, and that's right there. I'm pretty sure. Yep, working perfectly, and we can keep shooting, and it will work. And I'm sorry about all this sand here, it's because I'm, I'm unloading the chunks up there when, the, when it's falling. Uh, but it is what it is. Well, let's go ahead and try that one more time here. And it, again, it is working perfectly. Uh, and we can continue doing this for quite a while and it will still work. 
Um, again, it is around, it's hard to say, but it's 25 to 30 chunks. I'm pretty sure you'll be able to use these ticks for. So from like two chunks away to 25, 30 chunks, you should be able to use this cannon without changing anything at all. So you don't really need any uh, skills in cannoning to use this cannon here, unless there is some pro problems on your server. Uh, it is not all servers that's similar to, to where I built my cannons. Uh, that's kind of impossible to do. Um, but with some basic learning or with some basic training in, for cannoning, you should be able to figure out how to use this cannon and modify it if that's the case. Um, as you see right now, our sand corp is at the lowest point right here. We might be able to shoot one more time, but I'm not sure. Um, let's see here. That will be this one here. So let's go ahead and shoot one more time and see if it's enough. Uh, I highly doubt that it's enough. No, it's it's probably not going to be enough. Well, we do have a little bit more. We have a little bit more sand to spare when we do this. Uh, oh, actually, we could take that one down. All right. And because we could do that is because we cannot say that. All right, we want this sand comp to fire out 145 sand. We can't do that. And uh, that's simply impossible because the pistons have to close at some point. Uh, you could probably do it with some repeaters or something like that. I assume. I'm not really. I'm not really sure. Uh, but here we have um, a wrong shot because we didn't fill it up. See, that's what I mean. I fuck up all the time. I fuck up all the time. So typical me. Let's go ahead and fill this up here. Uh, get a wand out and stack this one here up again. Um, 100 up. There we go. Let's stack this up 100 again. There we go. Now we should be able to see. A uh, little improvement in the sand, hopefully, or else it wouldn't really work. Oh, that's glass. We can have that. There we go. There. Now let's see how much sand we can get into it. <clears throat> Alright, I looked a lot better. So we have 144, 144 sand, and that is, is exactly enough. Uh, that's probably false. We have 145, 150 something ish, uh, probably. So we have a little bit more sand to spare. Uh, than we actually need. Oh, why can't I place that down? Oh, yeah, yeah, all right. All right. Uh, we have a little bit more sand than it really needs, but again, you can't really close the, the pistons at the exact time without doing something crazy, and it's gonna be, f it's gonna, just gonna be a mess. So, so just go ahead and use it like this, and, and I'm pretty, pretty sure it will work out perfectly. But when that is set, guys, I'm gonna go out the cannon now, I'm gonna tell you how to water it, I'm gonna tell you what the different things is, and maybe tell you a little bit about our context, but I'd rather than that, guys, then I think it's just about this video here. Um, right over here, we have the scatter, and of course, if you wanna go ahead and make it so it doesn't make this, this line of water, you can go ahead and you can remove one text from this right here, and that will make it our context. It does limit the chunks you can shoot, but I'm pretty sure it, it will be just fine. And that will give you so you don't clip. Uh, but if you're not having a lava flowing down, just go ahead and add one tick to that. You should be fine. Now that we've done that, uh, we can change the hammer ticks up here. So if you change the tick here, you need to change the exact same over here. Remember that? Right here we have the guider, and you can change that to slaps or trapdoors all along what you what you face, uh, filters or whatsoever. Right here, the interior liner, break the glass, place the water, and uh, place the glass again, or else it might fuck up because of the ladder if you do it from in here. Um, dual sand comp right here, we do need to water it, I'm going to show you that now. Uh, let's put up the water bucket here. So, right here is the basic, you always do it here. Uh, but, because we're having such a long, ha uh, such a long, uh, sand compression now, we do need to water this down here as well. Don't worry, it cannot blow up as long as these ladders are placed right there. It doesn't matter where the sand is, it won't be able to flow down to the to the TNT and actually blow it up. Uh, but I'm pretty sure this was the sand compression, let's go ahead and do the cannon as well. Uh, as we all normally do, just go ahead and smash it in along the way here. You should be fine doing that. There we go, and I saw us up here. There. Now, this is the booster for the power, just oh, go ahead and do it like this. There we go. And now, of course, the TNT corrector. Oh, alright, I didn't mean to do that. Break it, place it, place it. Alright, always remember that. Now that we've done that, we can go ahead, we can take uh, water into the boot, uh, sorry, the slap post. We can go ahead and do it into the hammer as well, like that. And right here, you can't fuck up with the water, so just go ahead and, and smash that in really good here. 
Uh, there we go. I'm pretty sure that's just about it. Make sure that you you did, did this correct, so it's all watered here as well as over at the boost over here. Other than that, guys, you guys are ready to shoot this cannon here and hopefully wait somebody. I think that's just it for this video here, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please be able to like this video here. And as always, guys, comment down below if you have any issues, questions, suggestions, whatsoever, what I should do for my next video, so whatsoever. Go ahead and put it in the comment, guys. I always appreciate you guys commenting down below. And as always, guys, subscribe to my channel. My name is Dexter, and I'm out.